Is cancer a metabolic disease? Oh, absolutely. And so how do we fix that metabolic dysbiosis or imbalance? Yeah, cancer is absolutely a metabolic disease, and we know that. And so it's about our diet again, about insulin sensitivity. And so that all goes back to the basics. Let's go back to the basics of nutrition. Let's go back to the quality of food that we're eating. And that all revolves around what exactly is metabolic disease. Essentially, that means how our mitochondria function. What controls metabolism is our mitochondria. And so it really all revolves around mitochondrial function and being able to assess just mitochondrial function in general. And so there are some new tests that are coming out. None of the tests as comprehensive as that IGL test was, in my opinion. But as the tests for mitochondrial function evolve, I think we're going to see we can focus a lot more on how we treat our patients as we start to be able to measure mitochondrial function a little better. Right now, on the organic acids test, we have a lot of surrogate markers that can assess mitochondrial function. But as we get more into measuring the number of mitochondria and mitochondrial clumping and mitochondrial membrane potential, I think we're going to be able to offer our patients a lot more once we're able to assess that more regularly.